Who the hell are you? You don't have a pin. No dome, no nothing. That's the only rule around here. You're a party crasher. I should call Tuba. He's our bouncer. He gets rid of people like you. I don't mean here with me. To sit down, to open your mouth, whatever. I mean the party, the place, the event. You're missing something. You're incomplete. <laughs> You're ill-informed. And at risk of being forcibly ejected. Hey, lighten up. You're not telling me anything. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. I need more. You don't know who you are. You're lost. And I have to decide if I should save your sorry ass. <laughs> Pop quiz. What's your favorite color? Yeah, good. I like sharp contrast. If you'd pick some stupid color like blue or something, you wouldn't have had a chance. Red? Right. You think you're being clever? I'm obviously part native. And you thought that you could suck up to me with this red thing? Oh man, get out of here. Hmm, I don't think so. Off with you, now. I like that. No hesitation. It's good that you know something about yourself. Are you sure? I can give you more time. <laughs> I'm sorry. But if you can't decide on what your favorite color is, I really don't think you're ready to talk to me. I don't give a damn what your favorite color is. I wanted to see what kind of spirit you brought to your choice. And frankly, <laughs> you're just too negative for my liking. Go away. Well, okay. I like people who show some attitude when they answer a stupid question like that. You're in. Hey, I don't care about the color. That was as lifeless an answer as I've ever heard. I don't have time for you. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I mean, I don't care about the color, but I like the attitude. <laughs> Whoa, too bubbly for me. Can you take it somewhere else, please? <laughs> Sit down. First of all, you should have one of these. Now, you pin it on like this. <laughs> but I don't need one. You do. Maybe you deserve a second chance. Then again, maybe not. Why don't you go away? and come back later when I'm in a better mood. I'm going to give you some advice. There's a Wendigo spirit in the room tonight. A ravenous, wandering soul that will freeze your heart, tear it from your chest, and suck on it like a freezy. <laughs> but hey, your luck has held so far. Go! Get thee hence. Go graze thee on the waist. Away! You're much too eager. We'll find out soon enough. You know those guys? They never planned in. Yeah, I think he's here. <laughs> Probably trying to get into the moat machine. He'll never do it. They're not bright enough. They've tried before. <laughs> Just one more for the stack. He's a dead duck. As dead as they come. <laughs> that guy couldn't blend in if he wanted to. Yeah. No, I don't know everyone here. But that's of little importance. Tuba will take care of him. If not, I will.
I surely will. <laughs> Still here. That counts for something. I guess I'll cut you some slack. <laughs> oh, relax. I'm just studying you. Trying to get a reading. I don't know you. That does a couple of things to me. First of all, it makes me nervous. It also gets me excited. Are you my enemy? Are you my savior? Perhaps you're wondering if I can help you. <laughs> About that, you're probably right. And now you're wondering, how can you play me so you can make the most of this little connection? Am I right? I think you're my enemy. But that's okay. You can judge someone by their enemies. <laughs> And believe me, I am the very best. I judge you to be my friend, and I am seldom wrong. I can be very helpful to my friends. I can tell you why you're here. I can bestow visions. I can give you keys to wisdom. So, what shall it be? Do you want to know why you're here? doesn't matter what you say. I'll be judging you by the danger that you pose. And from where I'm sitting right now, <laughs> it doesn't seem that great. All right, then. What about the power? Then you obviously need wisdom. <laughs> I don't know why you're here. You're certainly a strange one. It's as if you had a power, but don't know how to use it. You should see Shiva. I think she's near the stage. She has the sight. She'll tell you why you're here. I may have told you too much already. You may already have the power to destroy me. <laughs> oh, go away. Oh, come back later when you know what's going on. Careful. You're going to make me like you. And you can love your enemies, but you can never, ever like them. <laughs> I remember my dad telling me about this fish hawk he was watching, trying to decide if it should die for a frog or a lake trout. So my dad blew its head off. <laughs> oh, dad, there's no point to this story, except that maybe sometimes it pays to have an opinion. Ha, huh. is that a challenge? What about wisdom? Watch carefully. The power? So maybe I called you wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. So what do you want from me? It's been pleasant as hell, but I've got some important business to attend to. So I'm going to need some space. <laughs> bye. I mean, bye. Well, you know, that's the beauty of being a half-breed. I get the best of both worlds. I get the spiritual power of the native and the heartless cunning of the white man. <laughs> get lost. Go. Be gone. Then I have nothing for you. Come back when you know what you want and who you are. You know, There's a rumor going around about Vito being involved with a very old, very strange cult. There are people, press people, <laughs> looking for some kind of confirmation on this cult, some evidence. Well, I've got news for you. It's a little secret. There's actually a complete file on the subject right there under their nose, in the mode machines, the computer games. All you got to do is spell out the word EDOM, on the mode bar, E-D-O-M, and then keep clicking the same letters on the screen. Then you'll see, it's very entertaining. <laughs> and of course, you won't tell a soul, now will you?
<laughs> That's all I can give you now. Maybe I'll see you again. Did you get that? Because I'm not going to show you again. It's a sweet little toy, really. Invented by Vito's Techno House Boy, Ed. Yeah, you put it on your finger, it works. And when you touch someone, it gives them a special jolt. And then, instant euphoria. Hallucinations. <laughs> Who cares how it works? But important, you can't do it to yourself. And the way you feel about someone affects what it does. Weird, right? Well, who knows? It might come in handy. No, I was right. There's nothing happening here. See ya. Okay, I'll tell you what I can give you. Power or wisdom? Got that? So what will it be? Power? Ah, so there you are. Still on your quest. So, what have you learned? How have you changed? Who have you changed? Shall we pick up where we left off? So you're the one I've heard about. You've made it this far without a dome. Amazing. You want one now? Change is good. You're looking for transformation. I can relate to that. How can I help? I'll let you think about it. Then you don't know me at all. I sure as hell don't know you. Why would I trust you? Should I? Nah, don't bother. I'll be curious to see if you make it without one. Could be quite amusing. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't miss the final performance. Now I have things to do, so uh, later. Sure. Might as well become one with the hapless hordes. You're not going to get much further without one of these. Perhaps you'd like to know some magic. Some dome magic. I know what you need. You need some information. Information that might be worth something. Am I right? I could give you something. Power over others. Power that is right now within your grasp. And you might not even know it. You may think that you're on top of the whole thing. That you've got all the pieces in place. Well, I may have something for you. A little revelation. Higher knowledge, as it were. I'm not supposed to say this to anyone, but you're... I don't know. Magical or something. So you've got it straightened out? Your mind is clear? Now we're getting somewhere. You know, I had a brother once, tried to kill me. And the funny thing is, I never stopped loving him, even when I tried killing him right back. <laughs> never trusted the bastard, but I did love him. Took him three days to die. And then there's you, looking for some changes. You want to know what I really think about you? Really? You're nothing. You're like some bloated dilettant blown in off a cruise ship, waddling your aimless way around until someone realizes that you're an imposter. You're not even real, for God's sake. Me? My friends? This place? We're forever. <laughs> but you? You're just a blip. 
an aberration. A flake of dust caught on a machine for a split second until the ventilation kicks in and then you're blown to oblivion. You're not even worth the precious seconds I'm using to berate you. Here. Or not. There's time. <laughs> There's always time. And you have many lives. <laughs> oh, eventually you'll get it right. Ah, yes. The magical dome. The party favor of the future. Now, if you want the full story on how it works, you'll have to ask Ed. He designed it. But the short version is, you snap it off its pin, you stick it on your finger, and then you reach out and touch someone. I'd give you a demonstration, but with me it's a little different. It might kill you. You heard the rumors about the cult that Vito's messed up with? You've played the mode machine? The computer game. Well, here's a little secret for you. You want to find out more about the cult? All you have to do is get the mode bar to spell EDOM. E-D-O-M. And then keep clicking on the letters on the screen spelling the word EDOM. That's it. <laughs> so you heard about the EDOM file. Well, here's something else. And you did not hear this from me. In the file, keep clicking on Vito's picture. Whenever it appears. <laughs> Got that? Have fun. I have no time for this. Go away now. What do you say? Shall we try again? Shall I tell you a little secret about that thing? That's all I'm going to give you now. It's been pleasant as hell, but I've got some important business to attend to, so I'm going to need some space. <laughs> bye. I mean, bye. That might be wise. Ignorance is bliss and all. I'm not sure I should tell you. Can you be trusted? In Brazil, they have a story about death. And how he came to a young man's door and said, Let me in. I want you to love me. And the young man said, No, never. You're death. You can't come in. I will never love you. He did. Do you understand? Well, maybe you'll like this one. When I was a child, my mother used to take me to this mall. And she'd stand me up on this tall planter so I could see the whole length of this place. And then she'd say, Look at the sheep, Riel. What do you want to be? A shepherd or lunch? <laughs> oh, good old mom. <laughs> well, it's been fun, but I have work to do. You gotta go now. Please go now. Really. I'm asking nicely. All right, come here. <laughs> Look who it is. The mover and shaker. The mystery player. The being from Planet Enigma. So, have you made out? Maybe you can help me with something. Do you know this guy? I've heard of you. You're the mystery wonder who's made it this far without a dome. That is so intriguing. You have been having some fun. Well, here's another nifty little serving suggestion for you. During Vito's final act, when he's on, and if things get a little weird, put the dome on your finger and hold it in front of your eyes. Okay? I thought I saw you talking to him. That's funny. I could be wrong. 
So how have you enjoyed the evening so far? Tell me. Maybe you know. Is he a cop? Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't know. It's just those kind of sounds that work. Mm-hmm. Huh? Ooh. So you're listening to somebody talking to you. Mm-hmm. Huh. Sure smells like a cop. Fair enough. Is he here for me? Well, the evening's not over for me. I still have some work to do, so you'll have to excuse me. Okay. I guess I'll wander over and check it out. Why don't you come along? That's interesting. Uh-huh. Let's go talk to him. There might be a situation where I could use some uh, assistance. You know what I mean. If it occurs to you, you'll know when. All right. That's cool. I understand. See you around. Good. Let's go. You're not invited. 